The construction of a quantum computer is a great scientific and technological challenge. The biggest obstacle are errors, which affect the stored fragile quantum information and prevent us from realizing complex quantum computations. Here, in our theory group at the Complutense University in Madrid, we are developing new methods to protect the fragile quantum information. In an international collaboration with our colleagues from the experimental ion trap group of Rainer Blatt at the University of Innsbruck in Austria, for the first time we have been able to protect a quantum bit exposed to all kinds of possible errors. Furthermore, in the experiment we have for the first time realized computations on an encoded quantum bit without losing the information during the computation. A quantum computer could solve problems that even the most powerful current computers could hardly solve. And all these problems would be solved at a much higher speed than in current computers. To achieve a robust computer, we need to encode the information in a redundant way. However, since we cannot simply clone, that means copy, quantum states, we need to distribute the information in highly entangled states of several quantum particles. Error correction is a technique that is ubiquitous in every day's information processing. In our experimental ion trap group at the University of Innsbruck and Hikoki, we are developing and testing the technology that is required to actually build such a quantum computer. In our lab, we work with a linear ion trap inside a vacuum chamber. Inside this is those things of ice, which we can cool with the help of lasers to almost zero temperature. These ion strings form the central storage and processing unit of our ion trap quantum computer. Once the ions are cooled down, we use different internal electronic states of the ions to encode one bit of information, a qubit, in each of the ions. We then use precisely timed laser pulses applied to the string of ions to realize quantum gate operations, create entanglement between different qubits and to measure the final state of our quantum register at the end of the quantum computations that we carry out. The encoding of the logic qubit in the seven physical qubits was the most challenging part of the experiment. We achieved this encoding in three steps, where in each step we created entanglement between the groups of four qubits belonging to each plaquette of the logical qubit. In classical computers, errors can affect the stored information by changing their value from 0 to 1 and vice versa. Quantum information, though, is much more fragile and errors can act in many different ways. The encoding that we are using allows us to identify the location as well as the type of error occurring on the system by means of its unique experimental signature. After the encoding of the logical qubit in the seven ions, we put it to the test and expose the system to all possible single qubit errors that can occur on any of the seven qubits. Very much like a doctor who, by diagnostics, tries to find out the disease to decide on the right medicine to choose in order to cure the patient. Here, we have been able to show the code is indeed able to correctly detect errors of any type, bit flips as well as face flip errors or combinations of both, as well as on which of the qubits this have occurred. We could also use the encoded logical qubit to carry out quantum computations on such encoded protected logical qubit. First, we used sequences of laser pulses to implement the individual quantum gate operations, confirm that these building blocks work properly and prepare the large variety of encoded quantum states. Even if we apply longer trains of quantum gates on the encoded qubit, we observe that the quantum information remains protected and does not get lost along longer quantum computations. The way to achieve a fully functional quantum computer is by developing the building block experimentally constructed here. To achieve logical qubits that are even more robust to errors than our current system, we will in the future need to increase the size of our quantum register and work with even larger number of ions. Here, the two-dimensional ion trap arrays that are currently developed and tested in our group as well as in other labs provide a highly promising technological approach. The present experiment represents a further step towards the outstanding goal of achieving one day a large-scale, fault-tolerant quantum computer. Yeah.